Hi everyone. Today I'm going to talk about treble crochets and the turning chain. In my previous treble crochet video where I showed you how to make the stitch, we counted the turning chain as a stitch. But in many patterns, the turning chains are not counted as a stitch. I'm just going to give you an example of the treble crochet in that case. So I'm going to chain two for my treble crochet. This is because I feel the chain two gives a neater edge. The chain three can be a little bit gappy sometimes. We're going to turn and we're going to work our treble crochets. This time, however, this turning chain is not going to count as a stitch. Therefore, we're going to work into the very first available hole here. So we've got a base of four rows of double crochet here. That's UK terms. So we're going to yarn over, insert into that first hole, draw up your loop, Yarn over through two, yarn over through two. And you can see how that turning chain just sits alongside that first stitch. And because it's only two chains, it just sits in there nicely beside it. We're gonna work all the way along the row. Yarn over, insert, draw up your loop. Yarn over through two, yarn over through two. And we're gonna work until we get the very end of the row. As you can see the stitches in the middle of the row are as normal. The turning chain really only affects the beginning and ends of the rows. So we get to the end of the row, we're working into our UK double crochets, US single crochets. We come to our last double crochet, we insert and make our stitch. The turning chain for the double crochet never counts as a stitch, so it's really quite invisible here at the end. I'm going to chain two and turn. Now we're working treble crochet into treble crochet. We are going to again work into the very first hole. So you don't skip anything, you just work into that very first hole and work all the way back. You might think that uh, having that turning chain as extra might create a sort of knobbly texture on the side, but it actually gives you quite a straight edge, particularly when you just do two chains. So now we're approaching the end of our row. You can see that we've got two proper trebles here and here, and that turning chain nestled along the side. Gonna insert your hook into the first one and again into the second and you can see it has that little box at the top of the stitch. This is how you know that it's a proper treble. You can see that there's a place to put your hook, insert and form your stitch. The turning chain is here. You can see there's no natural place to put the hook and therefore you know um, not to work into it. So if we leave it sit there you go, you can see your nice straight edges. It's a little less gappy than you do uh, get to the version where you work into the turning chain because there's no skip stitches at the start. But always make sure that you're not working into that turning chain because you can find your stitch count will be off. If you work into that, you'll gain a stitch with every row and your work will start to move outwards. So keep an eye on your stitches, making sure that you're only working into true trebles but also no harm to do a wee stitch count every couple of rows just to make sure you're on track. So that's working a treble where the turning chain does not count as a stitch. Make sure to read your pattern notes so that you know which version to do and check out my other video which shows you how to work a treble when the turning chain does count as a stitch. I hope you find this video helpful. Thank you very much. Hi, this is Fiona. Thanks for watching my video. If you liked it, why not subscribe below to make sure you get all my videos as they're released. Check out all my latest news on Facebook too, at Fiona Mead Crochet.